everyone's got a four loco story, right? So it's my own personal rule that I only drink two weeks a year in one week increments. And that one week increment always follows a powerlifting meet because I bust out the whiskey for the third attempt deadlifts because whiskey and deadlifts and I just finish out the week strong. Fuck the CNS. There's a couple negative side effects to drinking alcohol like reduced testosterone and the stress on liver that I just want to like avoid because of supplements. So I just don't drink throughout the year. But boy do I have some stories from those one weeks where I do actually partake in the devil water. So it was back in 2019. I was competing in New York at Sebastian Burns Gym, the Spring Power Fest in New York. The fifth set meet had just been canceled the day before and I quickly had to sign up for this meet. So I go and it's me going head to head against Willie Richards who was at the time acclaimed to be Greg Panora's best lifter and I said fuck that. Fucking try me ho. So I squat 840. He tries to keep up and tries to squat like 800 or something. I don't know, some fucking pussy number. And um, gets a minor quad tear. I bench, I go three for three on bench. I bench 570 and he's a pussy. I don't know what he benched. Um, and then on deadlifts, this was the very first time that I experienced a dropped deadlifting competition. And it led to my streak of bad deadlifts in, in competition. And I ended up missing a 21.05 um, total in my first meet back from a herniated disc. So we had a really good meet. We squatted 840, which was a 40 pound PR. We benched 570, which was like a 20 pound PR. We deadlifted something, I don't know. We beat Willie, um, which was important and monumental at the time. That was the last meet that he did. Now he's like doing heroin and stuff, but. Um, I can't put that in a video. Yeah, no one watches these anyways. So, we go out and celebrate, and it's Mark Wood, Greg Panora, and I, and we go to a local bar. I'm the designated driver because I'm, I am i don't like going to bars. They get me anxious, so I want to make sure that my friends are able to make it home. But it was a local bar. It was all old people just doing old people stuff, and they were like, ah, let's actually go back to our hotel room. I had only booked a hotel room for the night before the meet, so I didn't have a hotel room for that night but we stopped off at a gas station and Mark Wood picks up a 24 pack of it was either Bud Light or Coors Light something like that and Greg Panor convinces me to get a watermelon four loco now this is the new formula four loco which doesn't have the caffeine and only drinking two weeks a year and I hadn't drank in I think it was like two years at that point um, because I was out with my herniated disc uh, I had absolutely zero alcohol tolerance. So, we start the night. Greg, he's pounding his Four loco. I think he got two of them. And um, he's just going to town on the Four loco, And he's like, why aren't you drinking your Four loco? Just, just just, drink your Four loco. Just Four loco, just, just drink it. Just stop being a pussy, drink your drink. And so, I get about halfway through my Four loco, And with all the extra supplements in my system from the meat... I get the world's worst heartburn and I go too loco and I end up crawling out under the table under the uh, hotel table that like next to the TV where the TV goes where there's usually a chair uh, I grab a pillow I curl up in a ball and I suffer through acid reflex for the rest of the night and this not is in not in silence because every time that like I would have to roll over or, or some some sort of acid reflex would um, affect me i would text my wife i'd be like fuck four loco i'm never drinking again and she's like yeah it was fucking four loco dummy so i have never had four loco ever since that day and this is probably the least exciting four loco story you've ever heard but how much do you think a 360 pound man can drink one loco two loco four loco nah zero loco so Stay tuned for more inside stories into the life of super heavy power, super heavyweight powerlifters, which actually stands for super drama queens because we're big teddy bears with big stories and lots of emotions because we love too hard. Come back next time. Stay strong. <laughs>